What's happening guys? Welcome to the video. At the beginning of this video, you saw my workout that I did yesterday, my full upper body workout, and you guys probably noticed something a little bit different, and that's that I didn't do any power lifting. There was no deadlifts, there was no squats, and there was no bench press. And let me explain why. So the title of this video is A Change of Plans, and that is exactly that. Things have changed in the last like two weeks. Um, as you guys know, I was headset on uh, competing in powerlifting again on June the 6th, I believe, was my next competition. Um, I had my last one probably about a month ago now, did really well at that, and was, was you know, hell-bent on competing again. But sometimes things don't go always as we plan them to. So first off, I've been plagued with injuries the last like three to four weeks, and I'm not really sure why, but I am having to step back from powerlifting because of that. So the first one, which you guys have been following me for a while, you know my knees have been bugging me, and that was from squatting so heavy. I've been dialing back on squats and been doing like more stability stuff, some single leg work, uh, mobility, and then like doing high bar squats versus low bar. So high bar, for those of you that don't know, the bar rests on your kind of upper traps and you're very upright when you squat versus low bar. Um, it rests kind of lower on your traps, rear delt area back here, and then when you squat down, you're a little bit more forward. And ever since I changed from squatting high bar versus low bar, my knees have not hurt at all. Obviously, I'm not as strong, but you know, right now I need to focus on my health, operation health. We're still doing that, <laughs> um, and my knees feel great. So that's that's one thing that's uh, been plaguing me, as you guys know. Next up, the last like. Two deadlift set, two out of three deadlift sessions, I've tweaked my back in the same spot, and I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if it's a form thing, which doesn't make sense because like I've deadlifted so much that it's just so second nature how I deadlift. Um, but like three, no, it would have been four weeks ago now. I was doing I don't even know what it was. It was sets of three with 400 and something, and on like the second or last set, I felt a little like twinge in my back and you know, whatever, I didn't think it was too crazy, but the next day I was really hurting and I was tender for solid two or three days. And then the week after that, deadlifts were fine, no pain at all. And then the week after that week, um, it did it again. So I was doing, I know that week I was doing 435 for sets of three, I think I had like eight or 10 sets and um, it felt great up until like the sixth or seventh set and it just kinda, I felt it and I was like, ah, oh, not again and sure enough, the following days after that, I was pretty sore. So uh, my lower back, and it's still, you know, kind of bugging me. So I've had to lay back on deadlifts. So squats are gone because of my knees. Deadlifts are gone because of my back. And then most recently, I was doing box jumps at the gym, and I was, uh, you know, going for some, a pretty decent height. And I got my toes on the top of the box, so I had to stack two. Um, I was going for 50-inch box jump. I had to stack two boxes, and they're, they're decently heavy, so I thought they were going to be sturdy, but it uh, turns out I was wrong. <laughs> I got my toes on the top, and then as I like planted, uh, obviously I wasn't fully on there, so then my weight was behind me, and then the top box kind of kicked forward, so I went backwards, and I landed on this wrist, and it was really sore. So this was this past Saturday. Today is Friday, uh, May the 4th, so this past Saturday, I did that. The Sunday, I was like sore, but wasn't too bad. But Sunday, was I was supposed to bench like I normally do, and I couldn't do that. Um, so I laid that off, and then Tuesday, no, so that was Sunday. And then Monday, it was really sore. Like the first like four or five hours of my day, it was like throbbing sore. And I was like, oh man, this sucks. And then uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, still tender. And even today, like it's still sore. So I went last night and got an x-ray and I didn't uh, fracture or break anything. It was just a, it's just a soft tissue thing. Um, so, you know, it's right here where it hurts and then it kind of comes back behind my wrist. So uh, I just got to rest it up and hopefully it recovers here soon. As you saw from yesterday's workout, I can still do upper body. It's just anything pressing I can't do where the pressure is on the palm of my hand. So obviously any chest press, shoulder press is a no-go. Probably curls even. Well, I guess I could do hammer curls, but uh, any curl would probably be bad news. But uh, like you guys saw, I can do chin-ups, uh, rows, triceps, all that stuff, even the farmer's handles, no problem. Um, so that's, that's gonna rest up. And then, I don't wanna talk about it just yet, but there's some new plans in my head, some stuff I'm working on, uh, stuff that I want to bring back into uh, my training and my life that's kinda of gonna reflect how my training is because it's very different from powerlifting. So I feel like you guys are like, oh my God, you flip-flop training so much, but like, 
sometimes you gotta just go with the punches, guys. And if, if your goals change and your vision changes, like don't get addicted to like, oh, I said I was gonna do powerlifting, so I have to do powerlifting. If that's not where my heart is, I'm not gonna do it. And if that's not what my body is letting me do, then I'm definitely not gonna do it. I'm thinking long term about my career, about my body, about my health. And if I can't powerlift right now, that's okay. I'm I'm gonna still be able to lift decently heavy. Um, you know, with a, with a good resistance, it's just not to the point of where I'm hitting like one rep maxes and PRs all the time because my body just, for some reason, the last little bit can't handle it. And my new uh, goal slash venture is is not geared towards hitting a one rep max. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this little little update as far as my, my training and stuff is going. Uh, still, still getting in the gym, even with the wrist and the back and everything, we're still getting it done. Uh, tonight is legs, I'm gonna go to Good Life and do uh, a little bit uh, different leg stuff than, than what I've been doing for quite some time since most of it's just consists of squats up until the last week or two. So we're gonna go and experiment with uh, maybe some leg pressing and uh, some lunge variations and that kind of stuff to, to get some new stimulus and keep working on things. So thanks for watching again guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick update video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.